Okay, what we have here is a Delta 31-255X uh, drum sander. It is the worst thing I have in my shop at the moment because I sold all of my Ryobi tools. Um, since the day I got this thing, but I did get it used. I'll, I'll throw that in there. I got it used. It has had a click or a jolt every time you turn the belt and it feels like something's slipping or something's getting off. And after a while, it'll, it'll click and click more, and you'll know that it's getting off, and then the table will be at a level. It'll clearly be not sanding uh, the way it should. So I made a bunch of adjustments and probably got this uh, belt too tight at some point, and that caused these miter gears in here, which we'll try to take a look at up close and personal, to get stripped. And you can see that they've got big chunks taken off the teeth, both 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 pieces. And I, I can spin them freely by hand because I have already started taking this thing apart. But I figured I'd start up a video since I didn't see any anything about this on YouTube yet. So the way to fix this is to replace these two miter gears, this guy and this guy. They're actually both the same pitch, the same kind of gear, uh, with with a couple of slight differences in the way they mount. So the one that mounts to the bottom of the post that raises the table uh, mounts with these two 4 millimeter Allen screws. So you just get up in there and take them out. This one that's on the, the shaft that you actually turn, uh, you have to knock a pin out of here. Uh, it's going to be hard to see the little hole there. So there's a cotter pin, cotter pin in there. And I knocked that out with a long uh, two and a half millimeter Allen wrench, just kind of snugged it up against the edge of it and banged on it with a hammer until it came out the other side. At that point, you have to loosen this three millimeter Allen nut on this collar up here. And then the wheel and, and rod will just pull right out. And you get this gear, which as you can see has a slot through it or a hole drilled through it for the cotter pin and you've got this guy here which has four holes but you really only need two so the catch here is that Delta no longer makes these parts they figured you don't need them even though they seem to break pretty easily and there are a lot of, a lot of people on the internet need these parts so what we're going to do here is take a couple of other pieces and these are from Boston Gears. I've already started working on them. So this is how they come, uh, with the, actually without this bushing in it. So you got to buy two gears, two of the same gear from Amazon. I think they were $20. Um, you buy two gears and you get uh, one, one inch by half inch diameter um, by three eighths inner diameter um, bushing to go around the shaft. And then you have to make some quick changes. So what I did to get this far in my process, I stuck these two gears together back to back, I put this one on the bottom, put this one on top, and then I just ran some this electrical tape. It's hard to film this one-handed and all that. So I ran electrical tape around it to hold the two together, set it on my drill press, and I set it on the drill press, and just drilled out the two holes where the bolts were. So we've got so I drilled through these two holes with a 3 16 inch bit that gave me this, which I can then put back on here and snug up with these couple of bolts. Now I'm not going to do that on camera because that's just silly. So um, I'm going to pause this video and we're going to figure out how to duplicate this broken gear here while simultaneously drilling a hole through the bushing and the gear that is new. And uh, in the description of this, or if I, if I find them here in a second, because I think I threw them in the trash, the part number for this gear, I'll put it on uh, in the description or on screen as soon as I can. So uh, stay tuned. We'll uh, drill through this in a minute and come right back. All right, so the hole in the original gear is a one-eighth of an inch. Uh, we're going to duplicate that, put, put the new gear in a little vise, and we're going to drill straight down through it, 
So give me a minute to change the bit and we'll do that. hole straight through there okay focus straight on through hope it lines up with that other rod so we're gonna go try to bang this back together and see what happens Okay, so I got the uh, first one in on the post back here, two four millimeter screws. This one's kind of a bitch to line up. Uh, I took use the use the flashlight from my camera and shined it through the hole and watched as this came down through and just put it down just far enough to uh, see the the holes line up with the light. I'm doing terrible with this camera today. Sorry about that. So we're gonna tap this thing in, hopefully it goes. Nice use for a fretting hammer, huh? All right, let's go on. I'm gonna turn this camera off and line it up a little better. Give it, get some more torque behind it, and uh, hopefully this thing will be working soon. All right, well, it turns now. It's still clanking a little bit, but I think that's because after everything it's been through, it's out of adjustment, so the table's not completely level. So you can see the belt kind of pop down here. I don't think the belt's too tight. It might be a little too loose, but I've got these um, I've got these just about as tight as they go. I can make it a little tighter, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. You're supposed to be able to push it out to the wall with a couple pounds of force, but that really doesn't take much. So uh, maybe I'll tighten that up and re uh, re level this thing, which is a pain. But we're getting somewhere. So here it goes when you turn it. If I can put it with one hand. If it goes, yeah, see, I don't see a slip right there. So, much better than it was because over here it's not clicking and clacking anymore. So, there you go, that's how you fix this thing. Your Delta X5, worst hunk of junk you ever bought. There you go sideways on my bench as you can see it's real fun to take apart and put up on the bench alrighty if you like this one um, I don't care if you subscribe because I probably don't do a whole lot of these videos but if you want to feel free have fun go fix guitars fix whatever you want fix your sander see ya